coming soon on subtitle edit 3.6.6 is the ability to batch convert video or audio to text simply you'll be able to automatically transcribe and subtitle multiple audio or video files to text or subtitles now this is a sneak peek and uh, I've already downloaded subtitle edit uh, beta and this is uh, the version from 21st May 2020 so I do have a video on how to download subtitle edit uh, the beta version and uh, what you need to install FFmpeg and the different modules for you to be able to use the speech recognition now let's open up uh, this portable version because it's a portable version and to import or add multiple files audio files or video files to subtitle edit for automatic transcription and subtitling you'll need to click on video and then click on video or audio to text now i find this quite a little bit confusing i wish they had the option to uh, like batch video or audio to text so you instead of clicking on video or audio to text the individual version then you can just do the batch because what it does is that it saves the file that is created into a subtitle so let's click on this uh, we can just download ffmpeg uh, because uh, my assumption is if you've not yet downloaded it then it's going to prompt you to download ffmpeg to use this particular feature now please do this in advance but if you're using uh, the version that is coming out soon 3.6.6 the installed version on most occasions you don't really need to download this but let's give it a couple of seconds and see how this can really improve your workflow especially when you have multiple files and you want to batch uh, different things subtitles etc now this is different from what we have in the uh, official version of 3.6.5 this is a this is the beta version and you'll see that i have uh, this model installed uh, the english language but below here this is what you never used to have you can input multi files you, you can add remove or clear so let's click on add and once you click on add navigate to the folder with the videos or audio files you want to add so let's say we want to add this particular video click on open and then we can just click on add uh, we can just change these to all files let's click on an audio file let's see if you can select yes you can select another one so we can actually just add those two more and click on open we have a video file an audio file and a video file if you're satisfied with your selection that you want to batch uh, convert your audio and video to text then click on generate so this is free audio transcription and it's really awesome so you can see transcribing audio to text file one of three time remaining uh, and uh, this is just a countdown and it changes depending on uh, the specs of your machine if it's connected to power etc uh, so let's give it a couple of seconds because i'd like you to see the final output so if you have multiple files where this comes in handy is you can actually just add your files here and let it generate the subtitles for you and once it does that then you can clearly just come back in with the different videos or audio files and then make changes to the subtitle file that is created and you can move along with your file so uh, we are on the second file and i'll speed this up uh, so that i don't keep boring you with these kind of uh, things but let's wait for it until it gets to the final file and then i'll come back now the third file from our three files is almost done transcribing the audio in that particular file to text now I'd like us to see what happens next uh, so that you clearly know uh, what uh, you're looking at and it's uh, uh, pretty basic and hopefully you'll see what you can do next once this is actually uh, automatically transcribed and subtitled uh, for your different content that you want to work with so uh, time remaining six seconds let's just give it a couple of seconds and it's almost done so three files saved to video source folder click OK and that's fine so what we're going to do is that we're going to add one of the video files that was automatically transcribed and then, then I'll just click on this to show all files 
let's say we want to go how to separate that's the audio file and then click to add waveform and then you can go to file open keep video and then we can just change the date modified how to separate that's the particular SRT because you see we have three of them these are the three SRT files that have been created just click on open and it populates inside here so you can speed up your process by doing all this we can actually uh, create a new one file open video let's choose all files and then let's go for we we've got this zoom in just click on that open click to add with form and then we can go to file open keep feed and this is how to zoom in just select that subtitle click on open and we have this particular subtitle we can just play it in this video i'm going to show you how to zoom in or zoom out of a video or image in kden live what? so uh this is kden live kden live so it's done a pretty good job and that is how you can use subtitle edit coming versions but you can go out test out the beta version and give your feedback to the creators on github tell them what errors you find uh, if there's any bug etc what you think they should improve personally i wish they'd add a, a batch video to audio uh, menu here so that, it, so that it makes it easy to actually just batch when you want to batch and when you want to just work with one audio you have that particular option that's all i can say but that is how you can batch or automatically transcribe and subtitle multiple files for free thanks for watching this video my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning